Good morning. Welcome to St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Zock, and this is Saturday in the fourth week of Easter. We'll begin with Precious Lord. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows drear, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, hear my cry, hear my call. Hold my hand, lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Spirit, may the grace and favor of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. We pause a moment as we begin to celebrate word and sacrament and receive a spiritual communion again and ask for God's loving mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first. But since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salutation and salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All of the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. 
He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the 14th chapter of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen. I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we all know, there's 40 days since the resurrection, and then there will be the ascension. Jesus will go to the Father. Ten days after that, as he promised, the Holy Spirit will come upon the apostles. So Jesus is still not finished with his mission. He rose from the dead, and now he has to come to his disciples and get them out of their snit. They were disappointed from Good Friday. He died. And they're still trying to figure out what resurrection from the dead would mean for them and for the salvation of the world. He tells them that he's going to the Father. They don't quite understand what this ascension would mean. But he will later tell them, I will send you the paraclete, the Spirit. It will enliven you like you can't even imagine. We fast forward to the Acts of the Apostles that was read as the first reading. Paul and Barnabas are filled with the Spirit, even under persecution and being run out of the city. They, as it says in the Acts, were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. This is a special time for us, too, this time of all these appearances of the risen Lord, calling us to recognize that we will also receive the Spirit. But this is the time for us to look back to not only Good Friday, but to Easter. And that's why we have such an extended Easter period that we can understand that Jesus is getting us ready for the Spirit. And then we go out. We, the Gentiles, go out for the salvation of the world. But we don't go alone as we sang, Take my hand, precious Lord, 
and lead me home. And then Jesus added, whatever you ask of me in my name, I will do it. That's the faith we get from this time before the Holy Spirit enlivens us at Pentecost. Let us now make these petitions to our Heavenly Father, knowing that whatever we ask in Jesus' name, the Father will grant. We once again make all of our petitions in this, the springtime, getting ready for so many events that will come this summer. May we be open to the Spirit. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who are sick and those who are dying. May we not forget those who are isolated and alone. May we reach out to them not only in prayer, but with a phone call and a connect. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for our church. We pray for the Pope and our leaders and our pastors. We pray for all of those in lay ministry. May we recognize that this is the means of salvation. Christ established his church, the body of Christ, continue his work on earth. We make this our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Alexander, and Peter, our bishops, with all the clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you all, and with your spirit. Let us now offer a sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ is be saved.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reminder that we posted both on Facebook and our website that we will, following every live-streamed Mass, have an opportunity for people to stay in their car in the parking lot with physical distancing between cars, and we will have the number of ministers come out and distribute communion, but stay in the car and then simply drive away after you receive. God bless you. We'll see you after Mass if you're able to come and partake of this accommodation to avoiding of folks gathering in a group. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And we start that distribution of communion at the 1.30 Mass on Sunday, after the 1.30 Mass, and then we'll continue through the daily Mass and from henceforth uh, communion in the parking lot. Awkward times demand awkward responses. We'll close with Precious Lord. When the darkness appears and the night draws near and the day is past and gone, at the river I stand, guide my feet, hold my hand. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home.